project and today I'm going to show you how to convert one of those hot chassis amplifiers into a safe amplifier utilizing a new power transformer. Let me show what I got. So our subject amp is a Harmony amplifier. It was one of those generic no-name type amps that all came out in the 70s featuring three tubes and no power transformer. Now I'm sure you've heard the horror stories about guys up there playing their guitar their lips hit a microphone and BAM you get shocked. That's because the 120 volts coming in from the wall is not isolated so when you ground it you feel it. So there's a little paper identifying the Harmony amp and here is the chassis that's already been removed. The tube lineup you got a 35W4, 12AU6 and a 50C5. This is your output tube. And there is the output transformer. This transformer, I really don't know what it does. It's not connected. And this is a isolation transformer that somebody installed hoping to eliminate the ground issue. But in this case, it just produces a lot of buzz, distortion, and yes, a little bit of smoke. So I'm going to remove that, strip her down, and do something D-Lab's way. Well, here's the front panel of the Harmony model H400A amplifier. You can see the controls are very simple. Just volume and tone. A couple inputs here for guitars. Now what my plan is, let's first take a look at a typical hot chassis tube amplifier schematic. So there it is. You can take a look. And as you can see, there's no power transformer. The 120 volt line voltage is actually dropped across the filaments of the tubes that's why they used a 50 volt, a 35 volt, and a 12 volt filament tube. Now, let's cut over to the D-Lab schematic. All right, so there it is. What I propose to do is install a proper power transformer, okay? So now you're gonna have the isolation, you're gonna have the high voltage required, and you're gonna have a separate filament line. So now, instead of running the 50C5, the 12AU6, and a 35W4, those are all coming out, and I'm going to replace them with 6-volt tubes. So our rectifier now becomes a 6X4. We're going to use a 6AU6, and the output tube will be a 6AQ5, which will all be compatible with this amp. The only thing is, is now, yes, I have taken away from the historical value of the amplifier, but the owner wants this amp for his personal use, and he's good with the mod. So we're going to go forward with it. So here is the insides of the amp, and this is how I received it, all right? So there is that added isolation transformer. Here is a filter cap. It's been abandoned in place. There's some loose wiring. This is going down to that transformer I told you that I really didn't know what it did, all right? So this information was actually taken off a website called the Indestructibles. There are some steps on how to isolate an amp. I'll post some pictures here so you can see what their end result was, and I'm sure it worked fine, but they just didn't want to interrupt the original circuitry, which I'm good with, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the triad, and in its place, I've got this power transformer here. And this is a routine transformer that I use on little 6AQ5 amplifier circuits, and it works beautiful, and it'll mount right in that place. So first step, I'm going to carve this stuff out, we'll mount this up, and start wiring it. So here's a progress report, new transformers in place. So we have a 6X4, 6AU6, and 6AQ5. Let's look underneath, and then I'm going to show you that the amp chassis still goes in as intended. Here's the underside, new filter caps, screen resistor, balancing resistors for the filaments, the 6X4 is wired up, high voltage lead coming off, I still need to get in here, rewire the filaments, and kind of clean that mess up, but we're getting close. So as for the chassis fitting with the new transformer, it slides in this way. She comes up into place here. Of course, the uh, speaker board is in front of it, but you can see it seats right in there like it should, and I've got a good inch and a half of clearance behind that transformer. Here's the initial test 
of the amp after the upgrade to the 6 volt tubes and the standalone power transformer. Here's the volume, here's my tone. I'm monitoring with the scope. I'm using an audio generator for the input. There's the output of the amp right there. Here's the tone control. The tone on this one is just a high cut tone control, so there's no bass, it just knocks out the highs. But she's working. So the next step, let's get it back in the cabinet, see what it sounds like. There she is mounted back on the speaker board. Got the new labels on there for the tubes. Thing looks great. Let me get it in the cabinet and see what she sounds like. Follow up note, that mystery transformer I told you about, that I took off the chassis, it was actually here on the schematic. So there's the old 12AU6, and they had a separate little filament transformer there, obviously to reduce noise. But we don't need that anymore because now the main transformer does it all. There's a chassis reinstalled. You can see it almost looks like that transformer belonged in there. It really came together well. I've got the amp on right now. So I'm going to rock her down here. I'll put the camera right by the speaker. You can see there's no hum. I'm going to crank up the volume. That's natural. All right. So she's quiet as can be. Let's put a signal into it. So the harmony's fired up. We got the audio generator, however this time we can listen to it through the speaker. Plenty of volume. She's good to go. Next I gotta get my player over here, but I'm not gonna show that in this video. This video is just to show you how easy it is to put in a standard power transformer rather than try and do a science experiment with isolation transformers and bridge rectifiers and voodoo magic. This really brought the Harmony back to life and now it's got a new life for maybe 50 years. So there you have it, a very cool modification to a Harmony amp. And this is also an upgrade because of the power system that was in it before. It was only running at approximately 150 volts DC and now she's up to 300. So you're gonna get a lot more wattage out of this little guy with that 6AQ5 and those tubes are readily available. So this guy is good to go. Hope you liked the video.